15 Things You Didn't Know About Tokyo Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome back to another amazing video. Today we're looking at one of the most technologically advanced cities in the world, Tokyo. Tokyo has come a long way from its origins in the 15th century, when it was just a fishing village called Edo. It's now the most densely populated city in the world, with a population of over 13.6 million people, and has a reputation for being full of bizarre and uniquely Japanese quirks. The city's GDP is an incredible $1.9 trillion as of 2012, and it's considered to be a major international financial center, with tourists flocking there for a slice of Japanese culture and a ride on the world's busiest train system in the world. Because Alux.com is dedicated to becoming the world's best resource on the most expensive luxury items and stunning destinations, we had to bring you a video about one of the world's most incredible cities, Tokyo, Japan. Here are 15 things you didn't know about the city. Number 1. Tokyo will be the first city to broadcast the Olympic Games in Sony 8K Ultra High Definition. The 2020 Tokyo Summer Olympics will be broadcasting in super high definition developed by Sony, which will mean the picture is nearly as good as being there in person. 8K resolution hasn't even arrived in commercial stores yet, but this Olympics will be the first one to be available in 7,680 times 4,320 pixels. That's not the only innovation they're working on either. They'll be incorporating hologram technology into their programming too. Number 2. Polygamy was common amongst Japanese emperors until 1926. Tokyo is Japan's government seat and the residence of whoever is the current emperor. Historically, it's been a tradition for the Japanese imperial dynasty to practice polygamy and have multiple wives and female attendants. This became unpopular, however, and the current emperor has one empress consort, who was the first commoner to marry into the Japanese imperial family since the system began in the 1100s. Number 3. Train staff are hired specifically to push people onto trains during rush hour. If you're claustrophobic, a train in Tokyo during rush hour is not the place you want to be. Oshia, or pushers, are railway staff who push passengers onto the trains when they're overflowing, making sure that everyone fits and gets to work on time. You can check out many videos on YouTube of the Oshia in action, but try not to let it put you off visiting. Number 4. It took 10 years for Tokyo to rebuild after World War II. Tokyo was bombed extensively by the United States Air Force in 1942, and then again in 1944 and in 1945. The final bombing raid left 1 million homeless, destroyed 16 square miles of the city, and was at that point the most destructive bomb in human history. It took a further decade for Japan to recover and for Tokyo to become economically successful again. Number 5. Tokyo vending machines dispense everything from flying fish soup to puppies. Japan is famous for its amazing vending machines that put our Coca-Cola dispensers to shame. On the streets of Tokyo, you can find vending machines every 12 meters for umbrellas, condoms, surgical masks, fresh fruit, eggs, ramen, and fresh cooked hamburgers. One of the most remarkable is a puppy vending machine, which is a very unorthodox way to buy a new pet. Number 6. There are nearly 300 Starbucks across the city. New York has 220, London has 246, but Tokyo beats them all with 300. The American coffee chain is very big in Japan, with a branch next to nearly every train station in the city. They play only western music inside, but honor Tokyo's love of the cherry blossom tree with special customized cups during the springtime. Number 7. Going to Tokyo Disneyland can apparently predict how successful your relationship will be. There are many superstitions surrounding the success of a relationship in Tokyo. Your romance is said to last a long time if you and your partner both watch the lights of the Tokyo Tower get turned off. 
However, those who go to Disneyland at the beginning of their relationship will break up because they'll exhaust all conversation while they're queuing up for rides. And those who take a boat trip on the pond in Inokashira Park will break up early because they've made the Buddhist goddess who cares for the pond jealous. Number 8. The Rapongi Hills building is rumored to be cursed by a series of grisly incidents. The Rapongi Hills development features offices, apartments, and shops, but because of a series of deaths, bankruptcies, scandals, and one particularly nasty revolving door incident, it's rumored to be cursed. The development opened in 2003 and is said to be built on a mass grave. Its revolving doors have led to three separate deaths, and several major corporations collapsed after they moved in. Number 9. Tokyo's food scene is notoriously expensive, with some sushi restaurants costing $1,000 a head. Many of Tokyo's most desirable restaurants look unassuming from the outside, often located in office buildings, down side streets, and next to vending machines. It's not uncommon to be turned away or have to book two months in advance. One of the most expensive and exclusive is Aronia di Takazawa, which only seats eight people and serves French-Japanese fusion food. Number 10. The most expensive apartment in Tokyo sold for $12.7 million in 2015. The Park Court Akasaka Hinochiko Penthouse can be found in Tokyo Midtown, one of the wealthier areas of the city, and is surrounded by a stunning traditional Japanese garden. The penthouse features perfect views of it, a specially designed room for shoes, and two bathrooms. This might not sound like a lot, but more than one bathroom is very hard to come by in Tokyo real estate, as two is quite luxurious. Number 11. The city boundaries include many different islands that have beaches, volcanoes, and gorgeous scenery. Tokyo isn't all concrete and high-rises. It has a network of islands off its coast, which offer a complete change of pace. The Bonin Islands are a group of subtropical islands which are completely uninhabited, whereas the Izu Islands are comprised of 17 different land masses, with varying populations and communities. Number 12. Many of Tokyo's famous capsule hotels are for men only. Only in Tokyo would you sleep in a small coffin-like pod and find it acceptable. The first capsule hotel was built in Osaka in 1979, providing a logical and affordable kind of hotel for business travelers and tourists. Each capsule is equipped with a bed, internet access, and that's about it, so they generally only cost between $30 and $50 a night. Some capsule hotels have women-only floors, or don't allow women to stay at all because it's considered too unsafe. Number 13. Tokyo is home to a museum of parasites. Have you ever seen an 8-meter tapeworm on display in a museum? Me neither. At Tokyo's Marugo Parasitological Museum, you can explore exhibits about various parasites that dwell in the city and beyond. The second floor is reserved for parasites that infect humans, and there are 45,000 parasite specimens on display. On your way out, you can treat yourself to a parasite-themed keyring in the gift shop. Number 14. The most remote hotel in Tokyo can only be reached with two trains, a bus, cable car, and a 15-minute walk. Outside of the city limits is the Kamadori Sanso, a picturesque lodge in the mountains. The trip is a real effort, but it's supposedly worth it once you arrive. The accommodation is fairly basic, but it allows for complete peace and solitude, and there's a waterfall where guests can learn to meditate underneath the running water. Number 15. You can watch sumo wrestlers try to make babies cry at the Sensoji Temple. Crying babies are supposed to be lucky for sumo wrestlers because their cries ward off harmful demons and spirits. Because of this long-held superstition, sumo wrestlers will take to the stage and try to make the baby in their arms cry. Some try a scary mask, and others just shout at them. Surprisingly, the parents are all okay with it. There's nowhere quite like Tokyo one of the most fascinating and unique cities in the world. No wonder 13.4 million of us visit every year. 
Japan's capital has a rich and complex history, full of as much destruction as innovation. Thankfully, it's now at peace and the center of so much culture and fascination that it's bound to be at the top of many people's bucket lists for years to come. If money was no object and you were jetting off to Japan, would you stay in a stunning remote lodge in the mountains? Or would you get straight back in that cable car back to civilization and book one of the city's stunning luxury hotels? Oh, you're still here? Here's another bizarre fact about Tokyo. The Japanese love baseball, but their games are a little bit different to their American friends. When a player hits a home run, the crowd waves umbrellas, and they're more likely to be snacking on edamame than hot dogs and beer. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.